All right, guys, part three. We're gonna get that transfer case up in there, hopefully pretty quick. I wanna at least get it up in there and bolt it in. Um, it's supposed to rain on and off all day today, so let me get you under here. And uh, I'm gonna try to use the jack. I don't know how well that's gonna work out for me, but I'm gonna try it. If not, I may just have to lift it up in there manually. So let's get under there.
It's in. Is it? Yeah. Where you at, Monk? Right here. Will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? What? Will you uh, grab my camera and stop recording for me, please? Where is it? Right by Bruno. Bruno, get away from the camera. <laughs> stop recording? Yeah. Easy. Okay. Bummer. Damn it. About another hour of that thing to be together. Alright guys, it's done. Other than the two bolts on that flex pipe and the, um, the fluids. But I can start it up for you real quick since the O2 sensors. Let's see, let's see what it sounds like. Since the O2 sensors are hooked up.
Co. All right. Oh, I popped the hood. I meant to pop the brake. <laughs> okay, haven't had the hood up on this the whole time. How do you release that? I guess you gotta put it in gear. <clears throat> I've never set it. Oh, you go all the way down and then back up. There it goes. Yeah, <laughs> I love that sound. All right, let me see if I can find a way up to get the fluids and then, uh, then we'll take it, put fluids in it, and we'll take it for a drive. If not, I'll come back on and tell you that this is the end of this video. So stick around, let me see what's happening. There we go. It's too quiet. Thank God. If it was mine, that exhaust would have been done yeah. two hours ago. Yeah. That guy, I gave this guy, okay guys, listen. There's a guy broke down right here, pulling a trailer, big old Dodge. Broke down here, he ran out of gas. Then I went out and checked on him. He said he had a buddy coming then. He coasted it down here thinking maybe, you know, if he could get it at an angle, we could get it to the gas station. Well, that didn't work, so he came, rang the doorbell, come out and say, hey man, can you run me down here to the gas station? I said, sure, you know, no problem. So I ran him down the gas station, remember this? He got in here. I started this thing up and he goes, wow, this thing's quiet. And he looked around and goes, too quiet. <laughs> I said, well, in my, in my profession, I have to be quiet. And he goes, oh, okay, say no more. <laughs> That's funny. All right, take her for a drive, Monk. Let's, let's see if we can hear anything. That's good, because usually when she goes up this way, I hear her clunking in the rear end. But. And I don't hear it. That could have been it. I already took us, guys, I'm not sending her off on her own. I already took her for a drive. And I'm not hearing that clunking, because usually when she backs out of here and pulls out, especially right there, you hear a thump, 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 thump. So that might have been the problem. Now, look at this mess. I can't wait to get this thing apart and see exactly what happened. I'm pretty sure, because it was pretty dry under there, guys, other than what was coming out the bottom. And my way of thinking is, I think it may have been empty. I don't know. We didn't have to buy this stuff. I still got some ordered, but my neighbor right next door there he gave her a ride up to the parts store. He said, I got some 90 weight. He said, will that work? I said, that's fine. It's ADW 90. It's fine. It's a gearbox, you know. Um, I like to put what's supposed to be in them, but remember, this car's not under warranty anymore, so I can run whatever the hell I want in it, so that'll be fine. And there was about a half a gallon there, so there's probably about two quarts there. And um, I still got about three-fourths of a quart there. So I've got enough and then I've got some coming Thursday, another quart coming Thursday. I'm not gonna send it back, I'll eventually use it. That's got a differential, this got a differential, you know, the Chevy's got a differential, so. Yeah, we'll see, see what she thinks of it when she gets back. How you doing? Good. <laughs> so, hang tight guys. Yeah, so I've been working with my hat off because it gets in the way under there. I just can't, you know, I got it done a day early, and I just can't get, I, you know, it, it's one thing to be without a car. We can just walk right down here at the gas station, right down there at the end of the street. Maybe you've seen that car go past. That's where the gas station is. So, you know, it's not like I couldn't, we couldn't walk down there. I would just drive the tractor down there, but with her mom in the hospital having issues, if something happens, I want her to be able to get in that car and go. It's 
Still making that noise in the rear end? No? How's it feel? It's good. Yeah? It feels like it did. Like it's supposed to. No noises? Because mm -hmm. usually when you pull out of here, I was telling them that I can hear that thump, 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 thump. Right. I didn't hear it when I backed out or when you backed out. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. And you made some turns? Yeah, I went all the way around. And, come up. and it didn't make any noise? No. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not that. Because it, it, it sounded like it was the rear end. Yeah, it but did. I think the noise was coming from the transfer case and transferring <laughs> the sound right. down the drive shaft. Yeah, it's not unheard of. I've had I had a Muncie Rock Crusher four speed do that. Yeah, had a bad gear. Mm -hmm. It sounded like the rear end. So yeah, I rebuilt the rear end, still making a howling noise. Well, first thing I did was replace the rear wheel bearings. That didn't do it. So I thought, man, the rear end seemed to be good. Yeah, you know, it was a positive track. Rebuild it anyway. That wasn't it. And then one day it just didn't want to go into fourth gear. Mm -hmm. Fourth gear was out, and that's what it was doing. It was traveling down the drive shaft and it sounded like it was coming from the rear end. Right. So what do you think? Did you drive it enough to know or are you gonna take it down there? I think I'll take it down there and ride around. Alright. Alright. But I don't hear nothing. It sounds good. Like no exhaust leak? I don't see nothing. Here, you hear an exhaust leak, you don't see it. Oh, <laughs> well then I didn't hear anything. Is it quiet, too quiet? <laughs> no, it's quiet, the way it's No? Be. It's not too quiet. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's too quiet. All right. Yeah. So anyway guys, there it is. Um, yeah, like I was saying, her mom's having difficulties uh tomorrow they're going to she's got water around her heart so tomorrow they're going to drain that and i don't if something happens i don't want her yeah that didn't make that clink noise usually every time you hear that thump, 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 i think i mentioned it a couple times in a video i'm like Did you guys hear that so that could be what it was doing was just traveling down the drive line making it sound like the room but regardless I'm going to go ahead and just change the, uh, I've got enough, I've got enough gear lube. I'm going to go ahead and change the gear lube in the, uh, in the rear differential. Just in case, that way I can see what it looks like. So, yeah, that's, alright guys, appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. I wasn't expecting to get this done today, but it rained all day. But a couple times I just came out here, sorry I didn't film much, but. I came out here a couple times and pouring down rain and just got up un clear up underneath it and I put the exhaust on and the drive shaft and cross member. I did everything I could underneath it. That way I could stay underneath it and I laid on my little mat there. So that way I could stay up out of the water. And uh, I just wanted to get it done for her. So thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Anything else? I'll bring you along with me on the uh, when we change the differential gear lube. Um, I got to find some. I think I got some empty jugs over there in the back of that truck we used to keep water in. Um, so I think I'm going to use that because, uh, you know, to get rid of that stuff, you just take it into like it, like AutoZone or whatever. They'll dispose of it for you for free. So as long as there's no water in it. But okay, she's coming back. And usually you could hear it when you was pulling in here too. If you guys ever had a front axle go out of something on a front wheel drive, that's what it would sound like. <laughs> I did it too. That cord. Because uh, it's wet. So, it's alright then? Yeah. All I hear is a click in the steering wheel. That's funny, I didn't touch the steering. I know you didn't, but I heard that. Maybe I couldn't. Is it what it was always doing right here? 
Yeah. Oh, well then shut up. She's trying <laughs> to add stuff on to me. Oh. That plastic. It's done it since we got it because that plastic. Yeah, right That's there. That's that clicking noise. Thank you. Oh, when you turn. It does need an alignment though. Yeah. Or it will need one. Well, it needed one to begin with. I could tell by the wear on the tires. Yeah. But since Did I had that. Did you change the tires around? No. Oh. I want to get this done for you. I know. I know. I mean, I was out here underneath this thing, all the way underneath, pouring down rain. I know, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you know I do. I love you for it. Very all right. Much. Tell them bye, Monk. My man. <laughs> Tell them bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, Shea Bear, Myth Man, Legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Stay safe.